on EFM News at 3. I'm Juliet Hong. Finance Minister Che kyung hwan said today that the government will focus on structural reforms in key economic sections next year to improve the fundamentals of the South Korean economy and revive the nation's growth potential. He said that he will push for economic restructuring in earnest next year to improve the fundamentals of the economy and sharpen competitiveness. Che's remarks came a few days ahead of the announcement of the government's 2015 economic management plan. It is expected to include the broad policy directions, key agenda, and updated growth outlooks for the present and next year. The minister also asked the labor and management to make concessions to improve flexibility in the work market. Che had earlier made controversial remarks calling for structural reform of the labor market, where regular workers are being overprotected, which received a strong backlash from labor unions. Korea's Constitutional Court today ordered the dissolution of a pro-North Korean minor opposition party, outlawing a political party here for the first time since the country adopted its first constitution in 1948. The 8 to 1 ruling effectively spelled the immediate demise of the Unified Progressive Party, or UPP, created in 2011. All five sitting lawmakers of the party also lost their seats, with by-elections slated for April next year. The establishment of an alternative party with similar policies is also prohibited. The party has been forced to forfeit all state subsidies, and its assets have been frozen, according to the National Election Commission. No political party has been outlawed by a court decision in the nation's modern history. the academic ability gap of ordinary high schools in Busan has narrowed from east to west in regards to this year's national achievement test. The removal of senior Taliban leaders has had a little impact on the organization, a CIA report released by WikiLeaks has said. The 2009 report analysis high-value targeting a number of conflicts, the assassination of senior insurgents. It said the Taliban's ability to replace lost leaders has hampered the effectiveness. Thank you for joining us. Now you're listening to Pusan EFM.